Okay, so, um, that's why I was trying to, uh, just a second take on this video. Have you ever noticed, like, when you, when you, uh, you drive in these, um, ritzy neighborhoods, you know, the high-end, the hoity-toity areas, that, you know, most average American citizens can't afford to live in. Have you ever noticed the speed limit? The speed limit's always, like, ridiculously slow. It's just not really the problem. But the ones that live around in there, it never fails. They're even dri either driving a Mercedes, BMW, or some other high-end Porsche. They never do the speed limit. And here it is, you know, we poke along. Because, God forbid, if we went five miles over the speed limit, yeah, we would, yeah, we would get in trouble. I do the speed limit because, one, it's the law. But two, two, uh, I, don't know this I do it because my fear is that, you know, a, you know, a pedestrian on a bicycle may run out in front of them. But not only that, but I did not know that um, it's legal for us to, to use uh, golf carts in East Hill. I'm glad I know that. I didn't know that was the case. I may just give me a golf cart, you know, just, just because I thought about getting a scooter, but you know what, a golf cart would be better because then me and Juliet, we could just ride around. But yeah, I just seen somebody on a regular road driving a golf cart. All right. In, in Gulf Breeze, they've altered the laws to allow it. And that's why they have these huge, these huge lanes where you would normally see a sidewalk. They got like two little, they, well, they got this lane and they got this dotted line along the center so that, you know, bicyclists and, uh, you know, I guess, and golf cart folks can um, share the little lane, the, the lane, oh, it's not a little lane, it's, it's quite a bit bigger than a sidewalk. However, in Gulf Breeze, if you go to stop at like Walmart or Chick-fil-A, you know, like average people go to places like that, um, if you park your car, the parking spots are so tight, it's ridiculous. You, I, I was gonna door dash over there the other day, but I parked to get an order from Chick-fil-A and I could barely get out the door. I was like, you know, I, I'm not doing this. So it's once again, you know, it's, it seems as though, uh, <laughs> like the guy singing that song, uh, rich men north of Richmond, um, will always be the ones that catch, catches the short end of the stick down the road. But guys, I, I do believe that things are going to turn around and we are going to save this country. I just feel it in my bones. I know, you know, these people are not happy about the fact that they got to be transparent and have accountability to we the people because we sign their check. All right, guys, I'm going to shut this one off. Bye.